Here we go again. Fingers crossed. following up with Wendy and finding out whether she's going to get fixed or not. So we're going to go for a little bit of a drive and kill some time while Wendy's in the shop. really strong <sighs> potential propane. More stuff. propane link we're not sure we've been smelling it it's in the same spot but it's definitely ground down part of that train great yeah all right let's go get some breakfast since we are kind of quarantining or trying to stay out of public places we figured the best way to see downtown Nashville was just we're driving <laughs> we're just driving around we're just we're literally we're killing time because Wendy's in the shop right now so hopefully she gets done today yeah to go see some murals downtown. They don't want anything to do with it. I but do. they have to come. Because they have to come. So I want to do whatever the boss wants to do. Because <laughs> I'm a smart man. Yes. <laughs> so let's go see some murals. street art scene in Nashville is impressive to say the least. There are murals everywhere and driving around in your car is a pretty COVID friendly thing to do. But even if you're not in the Nashville area, I'm pretty sure you can probably find some art in your own city. So get out, take a drive, and see what you can find. One of the things that I wanted to do if we ever came to Nashville was get this Instagram picture behind me. And frankly, all of the murals down here in downtown Nashville, they're gorgeous. There are some talented artists here and we're having fun just finding all the murals today. Okay, what I want you to try to do, I did. I want you to try to get to that road across the street. Well, do you want to go get the thing outside the box craziness over there or not? No, okay. not really. There's one on the other side down here.
All right, we're just hanging at the park down the street and got the phone call that the rig is done. Yay! We were half expecting to hear, oh, it broke this and this and this and this. <sighs> I'll feel a little bit better when we're hooked up. Actually, I'll feel better when we're back at our campsite. But for now, the good news is it's ready. I know a lot of people don't like warranties and we sure have got, we did get a lot of comments about people not liking Camping World. And I will say I was kind of annoyed initially when they, you know, we, we brought the trailer in three weeks Wait, before the official that? appointment, told them what was wrong. And then three weeks later, they didn't have the part. They didn't know if they were going to get the part, but they fixed it. It was same day service. And I don't know. I don't have any qualms about this. The only issue I wish, um, we did have to pay expedited shipping on the cost of the leaf spring so that was a little more than i wanted to pay but everything else is covered by the warranty so it was just a little under 500 bucks that we didn't have to that pay the for that for. the warranty covered and yeah. that's all the parts and labor and all that kind of stuff so we just covered shipping with and our deductible, and our deductible. so so another not, win for the warranty another win for the warranty and i'm not that upset i know a lot of you hate camping world but they did okay with this Winnie's okay Although we had a negative experience with the extended warranty on our truck, the extended warranty on our RV has served us well. We've had Wendy in for repairs three times since we purchased her, once per year, and each time would have been costly if not for our warranty. Check out our stance on whether extended warranties are worth it for your RV in this video up here. As far as camping world goes, we don't really have much complaint, other than the delayed part, of course. But we know there are some stories out there, so let us know in the comments whether you have had a positive or negative experience with Camping World. It could be the road. It does kind of look tilted still. Okay, well, Hi. we're here, back with Wendy. Let me flip it around. All right, there's the new spring. Look at how like black it is compared to like the other ones. But you could see where that spring was resting. Oh, right there. Right up against the propane line, which they also replaced. Fortunately, it was resting on the frame, so we were able to drive it a little bit. But man, it took a chunk out of it, took a chunk out of it didn't it? Yep. Awesome. All right, well, hopefully we don't have this problem anymore. Uh, this is actually the second time that we've gone to a camping world and had a decent experience here. Even though a lot of people give it really bad reviews, we, uh, aside from the delay in the part, uh, the service has been decent so far. So not all stories of camping world are horror stories. <laughs> safely back at the park. Look at this. Since we had the broken leaf spring, uh, we had to put chocks, not chocks, obviously chocks, levelers underneath the tires before. And now that we got back, we realized our site is actually perfectly level. You don't need levelers, levelers at all. Only if you have a broken spring. I was not expecting to film today, so please don't judge my messy house or my lack of hygiene. We got our rig back. We thought everything was fantastic. Everything was fine. And this morning I traveled, well, actually it's afternoon. I went to go make my coffee and I have no propane. Like the stove won't light, like the burners won't light. And I'm like, what's happening? So I switched the tanks, um, still no propane. The fault light up here is not coming on. Something's wrong. So we thought everything was fine. It's apparently not. We have no propane, which means we don't have heat. We don't, we do have hot water luckily because we have the ability to switch it to electric. We can't cook on our stovetop, which I do most of our cooking on the stovetop and in our oven, even though I know a lot of people don't. So I busted out my trusty Instant Pot 
and I have made coffee this morning by heating up water in here. I am now making mac and cheese for the kids for lunch by heating it up inside this like magic pot. Okay, well, here's a thought. The tank, we know the one tank is empty. The other tank we filled only two days ago. So it would be very odd for it to be empty already. However, maybe it was left on and when they changed out the pipe, it emptied itself out. I don't know, is that possible? I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is take one of these tanks out. We actually have a third tank that is full, but it's in the back of John's truck and he's at work. So I'm going to take out one of these bad boys, go fill it up at the office and cross my fingers. Maybe that's all it is. Oh my gosh, for real, it's really on there. Really hard. <laughs> one handed. Moment of truth. Oh. This thing is definitely empty. 100% empty. Okay. Well, actually, I feel a little bit better. I had my own little tantrum earlier, but I am hoping that just filling this up, it's gonna be fine and there's not some kind of random leak, leak in our new line. Of propane but I'm hoping that that's going to solve the problem otherwise I've been Pinteresting all day long how to make green bean casserole in the instant pot how to bake well I know how to make mashed potatoes in the instant pot um, how to bake rolls in the instant pot <laughs> I don't know it would happen on Thanksgiving weekend but hopefully this fixes it Oh yeah, that's much heavier. It works, yay! We haven't had any problems with it since, thank goodness. All right guys, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us and we hope you'll stay tuned for next week on Tuesday and Sunday. We'll see you out there.